Hi there, we're a brand new owner of a Skydio 2, a brand new drone for me, but I've been into flying drones for now for five years. So, well, this is my first Skydio 2, this is my seventh drone. I do want to talk about in this video a connection problem that I had uh, with the controller and how I went about solving that. So here's the deal. I have been flying drones for five years. I'm a Part 107 certified UAS pilot, as the FAA says. And so I am pretty used to flying drones, but I've always flown with a controller. And in fact, my, my current drone, which by the way, I'm keeping because it's a very uh, useful device, is this Autel Evo 1. And it has a controller, of course. And the nice thing about this particular system is that this controller comes with a built-in display. So once I got everything turned on, I have a display right here. I don't have to hook up a telephone uh, or a phone uh, to it in order to have a display. It's a small display, uh, but it's perfectly serviceable for the uses that I have and the uh, ease of setting this all up is terrific. I mean, I can be from box to in the air in under a minute uh, with the Evo 1 system and this particular controller. As I said though, I'm used to flying with a controller and I wanted to make sure that my first flight with the Skydio 2 is also with a controller since that's what I'm used to. Now, uh, the controller, uh, I linked the controller to the Skydio 2. The link works. Uh, I have a feedback with a little blue indicator light on the controller that tells me that I have a link. But then I have to hook up a phone to this particular controller, and that's where I ran into the problem. I could not get a phone to talk to the controller, which indeed then talks to uh, the Skydio 2. Well, let me explain to you what the problem was. The controller comes with a proprietary connection cable. This is not unusual. Uh, most of these devices that use a controller with a phone have a proprietary cable. And so does Skydio. You cannot use just any cable uh, to connect everything. You've got to use the cable that's provided to you. The cable provided to me uh, in this system is a USB-C to USB-C cable. My phone is two years old, does not have a USB-C port. It has a USB-C our USB mini, mini port. So it, uh, this cable does not hook up to this phone. So the system doesn't work. And so I tried a, a couple of things to get to a solution so that I could be able to fly my Skydio 2. I'll go through some detail here uh, in the next clip. So here's the problem. Uh, my two-year-old uh, Samsung phone has a USB mini port, but the and it takes a USB mini cable, uh, as you can see here. But the Skydio uh, proprietary cable has a USB-C connection, so the problem becomes getting the USB-C connection. Uh, over to uh, the USB mini port on the phone. Now I tried a uh, an adapter uh, and what you do is that the adapter goes from USB-C to a USB mini and then I was uh, able to connect up the proprietary cable uh, to the phone uh, with the with the adapter, but this did not work. So what was the solution?
The solution was capitulate and upgrade the phone. Upgrade the phone to a USB-C port. Now, my old phone worked just fine as a phone, but it doesn't work in connection with the Skydio uh, controllers. So it was obviously a tough time for an upgrade, whether I liked it or not. Uh, this proprietary cable does hook up with the new phone. It's all good to go, and I'm now preparing for my first flight. I, I, I'm used to Samsung devices and Android. Um, I ended up getting the Samsung S20 FE. That was an extra expense um, that I hadn't planned for with uh, getting into the Skydio system. But nevertheless, that seems to be the way life is here in uh, the, the tech world that we live in with uh, tech constantly upgrading. So the solution, if you are running an older phone that does not have a USB-C port and you want to fly your Skydio with a controller, the solution is you have to get an upgrade to a phone with a USB-C port or you're kind of like SOL. So if you've run into a similar problem and are trying to figure it out, I hope this video helped. Uh, come back to the channel. I'm going to be posting another video on my experience with, with a first flight of the Skydio 2. As I said, I am a kind of, by today's standards, an old-timey uh, drone pilot, but certainly this is uh, going to be a new experience with this particular new drone. Hope this is helpful. Uh, be well. Ha, ha, ha.